It was a nice and peaceful day and I was about to go outside until my moth sensor just gave an alarm because from the corner of my eye I spotted here on my house lurking in the shadows one large specimen of the red underwing moth aka Catocala nupta so it's just chilling there and taunting me I could probably capture it if I'm lucky enough so I hope to give all of you a close-up but there's a high probability that it's going to escape because when you touch these creatures they're going uh, into a frenzy so here you see my lovely feet and a cage with some of my equipment here's a dirty old breeding cage I use for moths let's close it so I can, I'm going to do one small attempt at capturing it. There we go. Let's hope for the best. Now, mind you, it is probably going to escape, but you never know. There we go. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Looks like I've actually caught it. Oh wow, it's a beauty. It's a beautiful specimen. Now how am I going to get it in my cage? I don't know. It's going to be difficult. I have, think I have to put my camera down. Or maybe not. Come here. Come here. Why am I talking to a moth and telling her to come here? Alright. So, it looks like I've been successful. Let's try and get it in here. I don't want to play with it too much and bother it. This is a very nice large uh, native insect. Very beautiful. It's uh, old and worn of course, as you, as you can see. It has some da sustained damage. Because, well, it's actually um, not a freshly emerged one because it's later in the year. And they tend to emerge much earlier. I think the moth usually they emerge around uh, June or July and they, they just live for a long time. And here we see the beautiful underside. And this beautiful underside is what gives them their scientific name. Because I believe in, in uh, Latin, catocala means beautiful underside. At least from the top of my memory I think it does, but somebody who knows better than me should, will have to confirm that. So, that's basically it. And it's kind of a shame that this forewing here is kind of worn out. Maybe I'll capture or try and capture a female, because it would be nice to breed it actually. Nah, I guess not. I guess I'm just gonna set it free. I mean, I've messed around with it now for a long time. There you go, little buddy. Oh, look. Now we can take a closer look at it. Beautiful buddy. It looks like it rubbed off some scales of its back, of its backside. This is a patch you see here. Very nice. Goodbye. And thanks for demonstrating your beautiful colors. And sorry for rubbing some of your scales off.